Okay, so we want to be solving for the wavelength of a guitar string. The guitar string has a frequency of 320 hertz, and the air temperature in the room is 21.2 degrees Celsius. So in order to solve for this, we're going to have to use the universal wave equation. And the universal wave equation is V equals F lambda. This is our speed of the wave. This is our frequency of the wave and this is the wavelength. So we're just going to list the variables. Speed equals, frequency equals, and wavelength equals. So if we look at our data, here's a frequency, and here's an air temperature. So we can directly put in the frequency, which is 320 hertz. Now we don't have speed, and we're solving for lambda. This 21.2 degrees Celsius is what we need to solve for the speed of the wave. We have an equation for the speed of sound in air, which is 331.4 meters per second plus this 0 0.606 meters per second per degree Celsius. This right here is the air temperature in degrees Celsius. So we can solve just drop the units because everything is in the correct units 0 0.606 times our air temperature now if we forgot what the air temperature is let's just move back uh, air temperature is 21.2 degrees 21.2 degrees so now we can get out our calculator 331.4 Plus. Now 0 0.606 times 21.2 is 12.847. And 331.4 plus 12.847 is 344.247, and that's in meters per second. So there's our speed of sound in air. If we go back to our original information, where we have V written down, we can now write 344.247 meters per second. So we have the two pieces of information that we need. We have the equation that we're going to use, and we're going to be solving for lambda. So V equals F lambda. We know that the speed of the sound wave is 344.247, and that's in meters per second. And the frequency is 320 hertz times lambda. So now I want to solve. I'm going to divide both sides by 320 hertz. right-hand side, 320 hertz, 320 hertz, they cancel out, and on the left-hand side, 344.247 meters per second divided by 320 gives us 1.07577, and that's our lambda. Now we might wonder, well, what are the units? We've got meters per second right here, and hertz. So if we just go over here, we've got a ratio of meters per second over hertz. Well, hertz is actually cycles per second. So what we can do is just rewrite this. Meters per second over, and cycles per second is basically just per second. So now we've got a fraction divided by another fraction, which we can write out like this. And when you've got a fraction divided by a fraction, 
we can flip the second, second fraction and turn it into multiplication. And now we've got meters per second times seconds over one. You've got a seconds on the top and a seconds on the bottom. And you are simply left with meters. Which, in terms of a wavelength, is exactly what it should be. So this answer right here will be 1.07577, and the units are meters. Now we have to think about our significant digits. Go back to the original question. Right here we have two significant digits. Right here we have three. So our final answer really should only have two significant digits. So, one point, here's my key digit, I look to the next one which is a 7, so that will round this up to a 1. So 1.1 1 .1 meters will be our wavelength.